The following segment is sponsored by 1-800-GOT-JUNK. It's that time of year. Back to school is here. That means more hectic schedules and getting new routines in place. Bennett Zobris with 1-800-GOT-JUNK is here with decluttering tips on how to make back to school easier this year. Bennett, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Of course, we love talking with you. Okay, first of all, let's start with what is 1-800-GOT-JUNK if people aren't familiar? We are Salt Lake City's largest junk removal service. So what that means is whether you have a whole house for us to clean out or just a couple items, we're more than happy to come today to help you out. And we're full service, so just leave everything where it is, and we'll come and get it. Don't you don't need to clean up before they get there. They're used to. You've seen some things, right? I've seen a lot. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So you don't need to worry about cleaning up. Okay, Not let's talk all. about decluttering our entryway. Why yeah. is that so important? You really want to make the entryway work for you. So organize by what your biggest challenge is in the morning. So whether it's you have a lot of shoes or you have trouble finding your wallet and keys. Make sure you have a spot for all of that so it's easy. Your mornings are very easy, that is. Makes it just run smoother. Okay, what about our pantry? Yeah, so it's important to make sure that you're rotating like your stock. Every time you go to the grocery store, make sure you're throwing out old items. Uh, you're donating any items you're probably not going to eat, and you're using storage containers so that everything's nice and organized. Those are really good tips. Okay, bedrooms can be a mess. How can we best tackle our bedrooms? Yeah, so when we're talking about bedrooms, we're really talking about the kids' bedrooms. So make sure that you have a daily practice, whether it's just five to ten minutes every single day to make sure that you are cleaning up a little bit every single day instead of a lot every week. Bennett, that's really good. It gets them in the habit of, of figuring out how to clean and declutter. Okay, what are some other areas that we're maybe forgetting of our house that we should declutter? Yeah, the basement and the attic. So I would stay away from putting really heavy things in the basement or the attic because chances are you're not going to get rid of them again until you move out. Mm, good point. Okay, and if we need help getting rid of our junk, how quickly can your team be there? Same day. Just give us a call or go online. Wow, that, okay, that's really impressive. Is there anything that your team won't take away? Just oil, wet paint, and gasoline. Anything else under the sun, we're more than happy to take. That's it? That's it. Okay, that's really impressive. Yeah. Um, I always love to ask you this. What is the weirdest thing <laughs> that someone has ever asked you to pick up? Um, so I've picked up and put in a truck a burnt-out U-Haul truck bed. That's the weirdest thing. An actual truck yes. in your truck? Yes. That's oh my right. goodness. <laughs> okay, you really will take almost anything. Literally anything besides oil, wet paint, and gasoline. That's right. What about outdoor items? Like if our patio is a mess or if we have like one extra fridge sitting, you know, in the garage, is that something that you can help pick up too? That's no problem at all. We also do deck removals, swing sets, anything in the backyard. Uh, it is part of that full service uh, that we do. You guys are just awesome. Okay, where can we go for more information, Bennett, and to be able to book you guys today? Yeah, just go online to 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM or just give us a call. Perfect. Bennett, thanks so much. Great yeah. to see you. Thank you.